Hi guys, thanks for watching IDNS1. Today is the Heroes Tutorial third video. So the last um, post, we I actually asked you all to do a poll on whether you all want me to do a video on group for today or high loss. So a uh, majority of the vote went to group. So here we are looking at group now. So before we start on the video, uh, just a reminder, there's a part one and part two of this video. Part one will be the uh, emblem and also the equipment that I use for Grok and part 2 of the video will be the gameplay of Grok so before we start on the emblem equipment uh, as always uh, I want you all to look at the skill of Grok so we look at his passive so note that what is strong about Grok his passive is that when he's near wall or turret his movement speed increased by 10% HP gain uh, sorry uh, he also gained a physical and magic resistance and increase his HP regen by 25 to 135 points. So note that when you are playing him, try to stick to the wall as much as possible. Okay, for the boomer speed, physical magic resistance, and the HP regen. Uh, recently, Grok has been buffed. Uh, his first skill now is insanely good. Okay, uh, basically his first skill is a spin. And while you are holding the first skill, you actually charge it. Then when... Uh, it's full, you can just release, release it for the full damage of that spin. Okay, and while you're charging, what is so good about him is that he's basically immune to all crowd control effects when he's near the wall and while charging his first skill. So what are the crowd control uh, skill? Basically like um, Akai, his SS, the spinning to trap people near the wall. You can't trap grow. Okay, uh, also... Uh, Cyclops SS which to trap people basically he can't be stunned slow or stopped while he's charging his first skill near the wall so that is how good Grok is and look at the cooldown it's only 6 seconds right from the start okay uh, by increasing his skill level you basically just reduce sorry just increase his base damage from 300 up to 600 okay cooldown is not affected but i will still pump his first skill first okay his second skill um to basically put a wall uh, not much usage okay to block enemy to trap enemy uh to block them from coming to catch you okay as you increase this skill level it basically reduce a cooldown um i would not say this is a very good i would not say this is a very good skill uh, yeah so his SS, okay, basically he charge forward and if he hit you while charging, it deals 300 damage. And when you hit a wall or turret behind you, it deals you another 600 damage, okay. Okay, but the good thing is when it hit the wall or the turret, it actually reduces the cooldown of this skill by 30%. Okay, so 40 seconds for max skill level, 40 second cooldown, minus 30% and if you have another 40% cooldown, basically you can use this quite often and the damage, max damage is 1000 added damage and for the base damage is 500, 1500 damage is very high so Gro is a hero that can walk fast, um, can be often immune to crowd control, high damage okay and can trap you, can slow you so he's a very very popular hero especially after his first skill is being buffed so now we start with his equipment okay what do we want to use for group firstly the boots i believe you are very um well on the boots now i always go for wizard boots for tank because i want the assist it uh, per assist comes with a 80 gold okay and i always say tank normally in the game gets 10 or 10 plus assist which gives you 800 gold which is very very worth it okay so um like i say his um, first skill is very strong that's what made him so strong his passive and first skill mainly so you want to reduce that six second cooldown even more so we'll go uh, for as much cooldown as fast as possible also okay so for the defense item okay the highest um cooldown defense item will be a wing which gives you 10%, oracle 10%, and dominant ice 15%. So, obviously, first item will go with dominant ice. Okay, second item, okay, we'll go, we can go for oracle or wings first. 
okay but you look at the passive of wing is basically to reduce damage taken by 40 percent when health is less than 40 percent so um i would like to go for oracle first because uh it does have the hp regen which wings doesn't have and also within four seconds after being attacked i regen h eight percent of my hp so i'll go for oracle before i go for the wing so dominant eyes 15 percent cooldown oracle 10 percent wing 10 percent so total up i already have 35 percent cooldown so i don't need to uh, have another five percent cooldown item because that will be uh, top up using your emblem so the last two item what do i want okay uh preferably i'll go with a demon's event because uh i want to have hp regen item okay so hp regen item i have this courage boa which uh i personally don't like it so much okay blade armor doesn't have wing already have thunder belt uh, come with a five percent cooldown it's only a 15 percent regen i don't need that cooldown anymore so i don't think it's very effective Curse Helmet doesn't come with HP Regen, Bloodthirsty King, no. Demon Advance, 30%, Oracle already have. Athena Shield, 20, 20 HP Regen. Dominant Eyes already have. Uh, Immortality, don't have HP Regen. Brute Force also don't have. Heart of Steel, uh, have 35 HP Regen. But overall, the passive, the special unique come with it is uh, not very attractive and there's this ancient uh, ghost statue with come with the highest hp regen of 70 and also come with h high hp of 930 but uh wasted the cooldown of five percent because i don't need that and uh, i don't need my my movement speed further increase i already have that in my passive so conclusion is i'll go with my demons advent of 920 hp high hp high armor 54 armor 30 hp regen okay which is just the second to the ghost statue okay uh and also as enemy attack me it basically reduce their attack power by six percent because as i mentioned Gro is a hero that um he can move around with hit regen near the wall so basically um i want to as they whack me near the wall i'm i can't be stunned can't be stopped okay i'll be charging while they're hitting me so uh, I want to have this item to reduce their damage over time, okay, for me to um, survive longer. So the last item, okay, as I mentioned again, HP regen. Um, so I left with what? Ghost, Ancient Ghost Statue, Athena Shoe, um, Thunder Belt, okay, and Courage Bulwark. Okay, for these two, for the Thunder Belt and Ancient Ghost Statue, I will out them because I don't need the cooldown anymore. So it's between these two, okay, Athena Shield or Courage Power, but for Courage Power, uh, basically attack my increase the attack power and defense for nearby at least, uh, because I'll be most likely quite in front to do the zoning, so this is not effective, okay, I'm not near my allies, so Athena Shield is a preferably uh, better choice, okay, 900 HP quite high, 20 HP regen is good and i get a shield that absorb the damage every 30 seconds and as the match goes on okay it actually max out at 1150 damage i can absorb that much of damage every 30 seconds okay and to stack with my oracle every four second uh after sorry every eight second after being hit uh basically I increase my H I regen my HP by 8% so these two goals together when put together is actually a very good combo okay so this is my finalized uh, group item okay you can see that uh, other than the dominant eyes the rest are all high HP regen okay so now let's move on to rogue's uh, emblem so for group uh, you can either choose to go with tank or support but because of his first skill okay to move fast so i would prefer to go with support i want uh, to slightly increase the movement speed okay um i don't need the cooldown anymore okay because i already got 35 percent and by nature support emblem come with five percent cooldown so my cooldown is already max okay 
uh, HP I already majority of my item give high HP so what I want is to take a uh, movement speed okay so that while charging my first skill okay even without the wall um, I can move near to you and hit you with my first skill to slow you okay without this movement speed I might uh, while charging I might not be able to reach you uh, when I'm not near the wall so it's not very effective okay so for the second tier uh, healing effect I doesn't have healing spell hybrid penetration I'm a tank it's not my style to go with damage hybrid regen to stack with my passive of reg high regen while I'm near the wall so this is good so lastly third tier uh, focusing mark okay dealing damage to enemy uh, and then my airline when hitting them will actually increase their damage by 6% I don't need this okay healing our airline or granting airline a shield I doesn't have any spell that can do that so I'll go with resurrect resurrection time reduced by 15% a better spell cooldown reduced by 15% so I can flicker more often okay and why do I want to use a flicker is because uh, while hitting I can while near the wall I'm trying to engage use my SS use my all my skill to damage them okay I still have a skill to run away okay I don't want to use my SS which come with 1500 damage just to escape okay I want to use it to damage them and I can keep my flicker to run okay or I can always flicker in and use my SS and follow by a first skill okay if the enemy is maybe 40% of his HP okay so flicker uh, is good for him as the better spell and with this uh, emblem spell okay reduce that by 15% which makes me uh, give me more opportunity to go for Q or to escape okay so that's all for group emblem and equipment okay uh, so that's all for part 1 please continue to watch my part 2 which will be the gameplay okay that's all thank you everyone see you goodbye